My name is Kelly, and I'm going to start with the story of how I became deaf. Um, at 18 months old, I had an ear infection and high fever, and it damaged the nerves in my ears. It wasn't until I was about two that my parents found out that I was deaf. I wasn't walking or communicating, and so they tested it, and they had found that out. Luckily, my mom's parents are already deaf, so my mom had that knowledge. So they found the best programs, and they put me in with a program that had um, a bunch of deaf and hard of hearing children. And then my younger sister, when she was four, I was six. The same thing had happened to her. So having a sister who was also deaf was just really helpful in like growing up and knowing not that different. I know there's people out there like me. It was just kind of the norm. People when I was younger growing up really didn't treat me any differently. Um, my parents made sure that, you know, I could always do what I wanted as long as I just worked hard for it. But it wasn't until I was in about sixth grade um, I had went to my best friend her homeschooled dance. And you know, me and her having fun, we're dancing, the music is blasting, and you know, the lights are flashing, we're just dancing. All night long, just so much fun. And after a while, I needed a break. So I told my friend, why don't we just take a little break and we went into the game room. And we were just talking back and forth, we are signing back and forth. And because we grew up using our voices and signing, so we're doing that at the same time. And we're just talking like it's a normal conversation. Then all of a sudden, what is that in your ears? Why are you guys waving your hands around like that? Why does your voice sound funny? I hear from behind me a boy taunting me, and it wasn't in like a nice demeanor. It was really, in a way, it was trying to make us feel bad. It wasn't until, I want to say, at that point where I realized people look at me differently. You know, they see that I have hearing aids, and they see that I can speak a little bit differently, and I never realized that until at that point. I am grateful for the good upbringing I had and that my parents made sure that I wasn't anything different. I could do whatever I wanted to as long as I worked hard. Getting through that and growing up, I realized the strength and my weaknesses and that I've grown to love the person that I am and I'm a proud deaf person.